If you have an enemy to attack and can get to a position for an overhead run, by all means do it. You can make this attack if you're on the same course as the target or on the opposite course. But in either case, a greater altitude advantage is needed than for any other approach. This altitude advantage will vary according to the speed of the target and the type of plane you're flying. The faster your plane, the more altitude you will require. In this approach, the enemy is usually surprised. This approach requires considerable practice to perfect, but it can be mastered by any pilot who analyzes the maneuver intelligently. Also, the speed gain can be used for recovering to almost any desired position for a second attack. In addition to that, the opposing gunners have an almost impossible shot. They are forced to aim straight up. In the modern service fighter, you should start this approach from a position at least 2,000 feet above, 3,000 feet or more ahead, and just enough to one side of the target so that you can look back and down at him comfortably. After gaining this position, follow the groove from the moment you swing into the run. As in all other approaches, carefully control the radius of this turn. so that you will be directly above the target flight path as you enter the dive. After completing the checkoff list, start a smooth, nose-high turn toward the target path with the idea of completing a 180-degree turn and rolling over to inverted flight at a point ahead of and in the same vertical plane that contains the target. Then drop the nose on down and sweep up slightly ahead of the target. You should reach effective range while still in a dive of not less than 60 degrees, which will be flattened out rapidly as you follow the target. However, you should pass him at an angle of not less than 45 degrees if your timing is right. You can enter the dive from an opposite course by doing a half roll at the right instant and dropping the nose on the target so that the firing angle and range are arrived at as before. This type of approach is more difficult to time correctly because at a point before the half roll, you're likely to be blind on the target. However, it is possible to drop your wing in order to keep the target in view and at the proper moment, continue on over and down on him. The most common error in the overhead attack is swinging too wide and passing on through the vertical plane of the target. Once you're in the vertical plane, it is so easy to hit. Let's watch an overhead attack from the cockpit of the fighter. We are now making the first turn. With the nose pointed high above the horizon, we move to the vertical plane and roll over. Another error is in starting so low that you haven't enough air space to complete the maneuver and you dive without ever getting your sight ahead of the target. Obviously, you shouldn't employ this type of attack when the target is too low to enable you to pull out of your dive safely. This gentleman is a boner a pilot never pulls more than once.
The head-on approach is seldom selected by the fixed gunner because the range changes so rapidly. The firing time is short, and after the breakaway, the target is gone. The relative speed is so great that it is impossible to regain quickly a position for a second attack. Despite the disadvantages of the head-on approach, the situation may arise when enemy bombers or torpedo planes are so close to the dropping angle when you meet them that there is no time for any other type of approach. On two-place dive bombers or torpedo planes, you're equally safe in making the run from above or below. The pullout is above the target if the run is started from above. Experienced pilots prefer to make this run from slightly below, recovering below, because they are better able to close to a short range without danger of collision. It is obvious in this type of run you can open fire at a longer range due to the rapid rate of approach and the added relative bullet velocity. Think of the enemy plane as the familiar target sleeve. The run should be started out far enough to get lined up with the enemy's flight path. If you find yourself off to one side, use plenty of aileron to get lined up as quickly as possible. Here you see this maneuver from the pilot's viewpoint. Watch how he brings himself into line by quickly banking and turning soon enough in order to meet the target sleeve head on. If you haven't time to get into this correct position, by banking and approaching a few degrees off the target's flight path, you can still make an effective approach. 